Hey guys, Zach here, coming at you with another video. So today's video, I have a lot of vinyl uh, pickups to show you guys. And I mean, ugh, a lot. I have a lot to show you, I'm very excited to show you all this, because I got a lot of good reception from my first vinyl pickup video, and I'd really like to thank you guys a lot for the very warm reception and uh, appreciation I got from that video. So without further ado, let's get started. So the first album I'm going to show is one that I found a garage sale for a dollar, and I think it was well worth it. Um, it's pretty cool. It's video game related, actually. Uh, it's called Pac-Man Fever. Uh, it's an album where it's basically like redone. I'm gonna scoot over. It's like redone, like remastered versions of arcade uh, music. Like there's uh, Pac-Man, Frogger, Centipede, Donkey Kong, Defender, Mousetrap, Berserk. All that stuff, and there's vocals in it, like they do like little covers. It's kind of weird, but kind of cool at the same time. And for a dollar, I couldn't pass it up. Now keep note that since I'm not huge, like I'm not a big music buff. I don't know a lot about albums and music and all that stuff. Um, a lot of these albums are going to be kind of new to me. A lot of bands I've never heard of, uh, or ne never heard, I should say. And a lot of albums I don't know anything about, so... Be gentle with me in the comments about some of the albums I have not a clue about. Um, but, uh, let's get started with an album that I have not a clue about. Uh, it's Fleetwood Mac Tusk, the Tusk album. Um, I, like, I mean, the thing is, though, I, I want to delve more into certain groups and artists because for some like Fleetwood Mac, there's music from them that I've heard that I like. But, I've never really dived deep into the actual band itself. The only bands I've actually really dived deep into were my favorites. The Beatles, the Rolling Stones, uh, that's probably it, to be honest. Um, but, so, you know, it's a good start. It's a good start. And I think i got more Fleetwood Mac that you'll probably see in a little bit. So, Fleetwood Mac, the Tusk album. Holy cow, guys. Uh, some of these are really dusty. I'm getting all congested and stuff. And this is my second take of this video, uh, so, this is gonna be fun, uh, Led Zeppelin, uh, 3, you're gonna see later that I also got another Led Zeppelin numbered one, um, but Led Zeppelin as well, it's just a band that I want to dive more and more into, after, like, listening to some of their stuff, um, like, uh, for, I mean, everyone, of course, knows, like, Stairway to Heaven and all that stuff. And my favorite song by them is Black Dog. But um, diving more and more into Led Zeppelin is something I really, really want to do. So next up is a relatively controversial one, probably. Um, at least, from what I've seen, not a lot of my friends in like the gaming community that collect vinyl, not a lot of them like this band. So I'll probably be on the outs on this one. Uh, but Boston. Uh, I like Boston. I, I guess I'm different. Um, uh, of course, I mean, unfortunately, unfortunately, my favorite song is a stereotypical one, more than a feeling, um, but again, I want to get more and more into some of these artists and groups, so, uh, thankfully I got this album to listen to, and also this one, <laughs> so, we're, uh, now I'm moving into, uh, another thing, actually, Charlie mentioned that this first before I showed you the albums, um, uh, a couple of, like half a year ago, my neighbor from across the street, like obviously before the move, if you're watching this, we probably moved at that point. Um, but before the move, uh, our neighbor died. Um, he died of cancer. Uh, so you know, really unfortunate. It was really sad. Um, but um, with his passing, he gave us um, all of his old vinyl stuff. We got an, like a turntable. My mom uh, said there's some reel to reel thing. I don't know what that is, um, but you know some, like, some cool stuff. And uh, you know I got to look through some of his albums, and I got to take what I wanted and what I didn't have. Uh, so you know, of course, big thank you to him. Uh, rest, God rest your soul. All that stuff. Uh, we went to visit his grave the other day. Uh, great man. So, a uh, huge shout out to him, and uh, he was great. Uh, anyways, uh, so yeah, a couple albums I got from him, uh, Boston, I believe this is 
So, no, this isn't second. No, this is uh, third stage. Uh, sorry, this dust is getting to me. Um, again, I don't think I know any of the songs on this album. But, like I said with the other Boston album, I want to get into Boston more and discover more of their music than just the, like, maybe five or six songs that I know from them. So, good album, I guess, to start with. Oh, yeah, and some of these albums, like, my mom might need for her collection, and since she's the mom, she makes the rules, so I might have to give some of these up, but I will point out, like, I, I, I'm definitely getting most of them, like, the Boston album, I, it's definitely mine, but, uh, I'll point out the ones that might have to go to my mom, uh, it's not a lot of them, it's like three or four, um, but nevertheless, I thought I should point that out. So this is the first example of an artist that's very popular that I never listened to, uh, that I wanted to get into, of course. Um, so I, I don't know anything by him. It is Prince, uh, 1999. I, I know absolutely nothing from Prince. Don't crucify me, but I just never listened to Prince, uh, which kind of sucks because he passed away, like, a year and a half ago, two years ago. So, uh, yeah, Prince, 1999. Next up is another Fleetwood, or... Did I show you Fleetwood Mac out? Is it another one? Yes, okay, okay, this is another one. I knew I wasn't going crazy. Fleetwood Mac, what is this? Self-titled, uh, or, that's what it's called, right? Self-titled when it's just the band's name. Uh, so yeah, this is Fleetwood Mac. Um, like I said, I don't know much about them. I love Monday Morning, though. That's a good song. So I'll at least know one song for this album. Oh, I know Landslide, too. Uh... I know World Turn. Okay, so I know I know a couple, but um, yeah, I definitely can't wait to give this a listen. This one, this is interesting. This is a band that like I know songs. Like I know like I, I, I'm weird when it comes to knowing music. Well, for this band, kind of an exception, but mostly I just know like I associate songs to bands. A lot of people associate songs to albums to bands, and you know, there's kind of like a more complicated thing. I'm just like. For example, my favorite Beatles song, uh, Strawberry Fields Forever. I'll associate that with Beatles. I won't associate it with an album that came out from, like, by the Beatles, that, you know, was produced by the Beatles. I, I won't think that way. I think, oh, it's a song by the Beatles. That's all I think of it. So, uh, when I first heard, uh, Smoke on the Water, uh, I had no clue who it was by. And then I figured out it was by Deep Purple. And when I saw the album, I was like, oh, okay, that's a cool thing, I'll, I'll grab that. And, uh, I don't know any of the other songs on this, uh, album, but, uh, figured I'd grab it so I can listen to it. Like I said, I'm trying to explore with music. I'm trying to adventure and see what kind of music I like, which these artists I like and bands that I like. So, if you have any suggestions, let me know down in the comments. The kind of music I'm personally into is... Old classic rock, 60s, 70s, maybe some 80s, stuff like that is usually where I tend to go. So, if you got any suggestions for me, let me know down in the comments down below. Okay, so this is one of the ones I might have to give up if my mom doesn't have it. And, of course, it's a band that I kind of like, um, or that I kind of, already, like, unlike Deep Purple and Prince and even Fleetwood Mac, I'd say, I have a little more of an establishment with this band. I like a lot of the stuff that this band's done. So it's more of trying to listen to every single song they have as more so like more so than trying to get familiar with them. And that's the Who. Uh, I love the Who. Even though my favorite song isn't on this album, actually none of the songs on this album I know. Besides uh It's Your Turn and One Life's Enough. Other than that, I know absolutely nothing on this album. Um My favorite Who song is Behind Blue Eyes because like my mom kinda calls it my song. Because I relate to that song. Like, most songs I love, not because of the story it tells. I just like a lot of the, like, the rhythm and how it sounds and all that stuff. But Behind Blue Eyes is one of the songs where I actually really make a connection to the song. Because I got blue eyes and life is definitely a roller coaster for me. So, it's it was one of those songs where it's like, it really touched me. It was like, wow, really, really cool. Uh, so, The Who would be a great album, or a great art, a great band to really dive into, so... The Who It's Hard album. Alright, so uh, this is uh, Queen, great, their Greatest Hits album. I don't know, they probably had like a lot of Greatest Hits albums, to be honest. I'll just read the songs that I know um, off of here. Another one, Bites the Dust, We Will Rock You, uh, Bohemian Rhapsody, 
We Are the Champions, uh, Crazy Little Thing Called Love, Flash, uh, Fat Bottom Girls. Uh, <laughs> As, as weird as it is to say, I love that one. I love Fat Bottom Girls. Um, those are the ones that I know. Under I, under pressure, I know. Um, yeah. So, their greatest hits album. It's more of an album for me just to listen to because I know a lot of the songs on it. So, yeah. This band, someone told me about them. I don't remember who uh, told me about them. But it's The Doors, Alive She Cried. Uh, I have no clue about this band at all. I know absolutely nothing. So it'll be really, really cool to give them a listen and to try them out. Now, I feel like I'm gonna... <laughs> the comments are really gonna roast me on this one. The comments are gonna be like, oh my god, Zach, you're so stupid for not knowing it. Um, this album confuses me because the title isn't on it. I don't even think it's on the side. It's not. So it really confuses me. This album, I know it's by Led Zeppelin. And the inside makes me believe it's Stairway to Heaven. Their Stairway to Heaven album. I just don't see that from the front or the back. I just don't. I don't. If it is Stairway to Heaven or if it isn't, I really don't care. It's because I, I, I'm more about the songs. As long as the songs in the album are good, I'm happy. And they are. So, my guess, Stairway to Heaven. So next up, another band. I've heard of, but I never really listened to, or never, never listened to, um, The Police. Uh, what album is this? Uh, Synchronicity. Uh, I'm, gu I'm guessing that's how to pronounce it. Uh, the front and back are the same, aren't they? Yeah, they are. Or no, they're not. They're not the same. Never mind. Um, yeah, no, they're not. That's cool. Um, so yeah, uh, never listened to Police, so it'll be an interesting listen. Now, another one I don't know, but my mom recommended it to me. Uh, she either said that I will like it, or I like I know I liked it when I was younger. Um, I'm not sure, but it's Frampton Comes Alive. Is Frampton the artist? Is there a hint on this one? Yeah, there is. Wait, is this Sideways? This is a weird album. I'm guessing it is Frampton or something like that. I honestly don't know. Uh, this is a weird album. It's kind of like Sideways or something, and it comes out like that. Oh, oh, I didn't even realize that. I'm an idiot. Come, okay, that's cool. Okay, I didn't know that. I didn't realize that. Because I was like, when I was looking at the front, I flipped to the back, and I was like, wait, it's upside down. I didn't understand it. Okay, I'm just an idiot. So, yeah, there you go. Got Led Zeppelin 2. Uh, like I said earlier, got Led Zeppelin 3. Uh, this is Led Zeppelin 2. Uh, I actually don't think I know any of the album. A whole lot of love I know. But other than that, I don't know anything else. I know Heartbreaker. Uh, yeah. So, this will be a cool album to listen to. Next up here, I got The Kinks. Uh, I've actually never heard of them, but I liked the album cover. I liked the contrasting colors with the blue lines, the yellow, and the pink. I liked that. Um, so, I, I was like, hey, the album looks cool. Pick it up. Check it out. And especially if it's free, why not? So, The Kinks. This is a self-titled album? No. One for the Road. That's what it's called. Alright, so I know this band from somewhere. As to where I know it from, not a clue. The Clash. Um, I know someone told me about them. Whether it was my dad or someone from YouTube, I'm not sure. But I know I've heard of them, so I'm like, if someone I know talked about them, excuse me, they must be pretty good. So, I decided, hey, I'll pick them up. Next up is ELO's Greatest Hits. Um, ELO is another band that I've heard of, um, but I just don't know anything about. So since, this is, since it was their greatest hits album, I was like, it's their most popular songs, so I might as well pick it up and give it a listen. This next one is Jethro Tull, Aqualung. Not a clue, this one's really dusty. Like, I'm, we're acting not great to this one. But after I give it a clean, it'll be a nice little addition to my collection. Uh, yeah. I think this is another one my mom said I either might like or I will like. Holy cow, that thing is dusty. Like, look, I could do a smiley face. I don't know if you can see my smiley face. But I'm going to put this down. Holy cow. But yeah, there's this album. Okay, on to the final two. Um, uh, both of these are also ones that I might have to give up, depending on if my mom made them. Of course, they're the two best, um, and probably in my opinion, and I'll have to give them up. Actually, maybe not. I don't know. Or maybe they're not the best. I don't know. Stairway to Heaven's pretty good. Uh... Presuming that is there to heaven. Uh, the first one I'm going to show you is Alice Cooper, Killer Album. Uh, 
surprisingly, don't know much about Alice Cooper. I've never really listened to him. Uh, it's kind of a shock. Kind of like Prince. It's just someone I've never listened to, but they're really popular. So, Alice Cooper... I, this is the only Cooper album I saw, so I was like, I might pick it up. But, of course, my mom might need it, so I gotta give it up if that's the case. And then this next one is a behemoth. Uh, I'm, I am I kind of don't want to give this one up. Uh, it's Goat's Head Soup album by the Rolling Stones. Uh, this has a lot of good songs on it, especially the first uh, record in there. Let me read out the songs on the first one, because there's three in here. Uh... Jumpa Jack Flash, Carol, Stray Cat Blues, uh, Love and Vain, Midnight Rambler, Sympathy for the Devil, Live With Me, Little Queenie, Honk Tonk Woman, the Street Fighter Man. There's a lot of good Stone songs. Of course, some are on my other Stones album, um, but it's still really cool to have. Uh, like I, I, Rolling Stones is my favorite band. If you, don't, if you don't know, the Rolling Stones is my favorite music group of all time. Um, I, I, I've never listened to the newer stuff. But all their old classic stuff is perfection to me. I love every single, like, old song from Rolling Stones that I've listened to. So, to get an album with a lot of songs, and quite a few of them I've never heard before, it's exciting. And hopefully I don't have to give this one up. Alright guys, so thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, yeah. Uh, until next time guys, I'll see you in the next video.